Hello, this is Stephanie from My 7 Words Life Coaching and this is actually my confession and message to all the life coaches out there because just two seconds ago I got an email from a reader of mine and she told me that about a year and a half ago she made a decision because she was reading my blog and she had enough courage and strength to leave something that was not good for her and she found that inner motivation to go out there and then leave the secure behind and find something even better. And she told me that after reading my last blog post where I confessed that it is not easy to start your own business, especially when the business side is not really the most important to you. Let me tell you something. I am a certified life coach. I got my certification way after I started coaching people. The reason for that is because life coaching is not my profession, is who I am, is what defines me. And I do this because I love doing it. I do this because I know I'm good at it. And I do this because I would do it for free. I actually do do it sometimes for free because people in need need help anyway. And I wouldn't be true to myself if I turned people away just because they didn't have the money to afford the help that they need. Now, my belief is that I get paid either way. The universe will always find a way to pay me. So I'm not worried about that. And it actually does pay me even if it doesn't come from the same source. But what matters is that life coaching to me is not just a profession and I really wanted to reach out and share this story with everyone because I think it is important that when people are there and asking for help, we have to find a way to help. And I do believe a true life coach does help and it's not just over the one or one and a half hour of session, but be there for the person. What I do right now is I'm relatively at the beginning of my journey and I have the luxury of time and I can afford to spend this time with my clients. I wouldn't want to do it in a different way. It's because I do believe when people need help, it doesn't always happen during the one or one and a half hours. And if I'm not there for them when they have a question or when they need me, then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be there for them, not just during the paid session. So at the moment, this is what I do. And people ask me, what happens if you get more clients? How are you going to manage that? I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. But what I do know right now is people who find me require time, require my energy, require my attention. And I have all of those things to give and I want to give. And I want to share this story with every single one of you. And I want to encourage you to be the life coach that works from heart. I do believe that if you're good at something, if you do it with passion, and if, if it's your calling, if it's, if it's something you were meant to do, you'll get paid either way. And all these people that I meet day in, day out, those who find me, my clients that I work with, I'm being part of their journey and that is, to be honest, more than enough payment what I can ask for. And on top that I get paid is just cherry on top. But being there for someone, watching where they come from, watching the, the speed that they develop with, watching their journey, watching their struggles and being there as a helping hand is more than what I can ask for. And I was really touched by this email that I received. And also I had a few sessions lately that were very emotional for me too, because someone told me that what we went through is the first time that something actually worked for her. She told me that for the first time, she feels that she found someone who cares. So here's my message to everybody out there who's helping others. Do it from your heart because there is no better payment than actually watching someone improve and facing their fears and becoming a better person. So business-wise, I do go through my struggles and I definitely struggle with the idea of making this work from the brain. I know it would require logic and I've tried it and it really didn't take me anywhere. I know that I could have done it better. I could have put in more effort, but after all, I do what I enjoy 
And what I enjoy is base most of my decisions on my heart, go by my feelings, my intuition, and just follow whatever my heart tells me to do. As soon as I let go of the brain struggles, I found my way back to my heart and things started working. And I think this is why I received the email because I needed a word of encouragement and there are some people out there who read my blog and they and they find something in it that they needed and I find it extremely beautiful to have people around me who actually care about what I have to say what I say is my truth it's not a universal truth I'm not here to convince anyone that my thoughts or my decisions are the right decisions I make plenty of mistakes but my decisions are usually right for me and, and I write about everything that I'm going through for a reason because I do believe we have to speak up. We have to show our true self. And I'm, I'm shit scared posting this video because I'm crying. But I want to because it's also me. And I want to encourage everybody to be their true self. And if you're a life coach or therapist or anyone watching this video, just be there for the clients with, with your heart. Because I do, I do feel that when it comes from here, it really works and it creates wonderful things. And I'm really thankful for all the support that I'm getting from my readers. They've been there for me through my whole journey and I know they are going to be there for the for the remaining time, which is practically my whole life. But I have their support constantly and I couldn't be more grateful. And I know that my business is going to go in a direction that it needs to go. So I let go of that fear. I let go of the planning. I let go all of it because after all, what I do is what I love. And I don't know how it's going to work, but deep down I know it's going to. <sighs> it is scary. It is scary to, to show this side of me, but I want to. And thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for listening to what I had to say. And I hope that you find encouragement and love and passion and gratitude and whatever you're looking for that's positive I hope you find it in my words and I wish everybody to feel this way the way I feel right now so deliriously happy that it actually makes me cry I do hope everybody finds this feeling and if I can be a part of it it just makes me feel even better because life coaching is definitely something that you don't do or become. You just simply are. You are a life coach. You need to do it from the heart. So anyway, this is it. Have a wonderful day, guys. And...